We just gave this old furniture a new look with some chalk paint and antiquing wax, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it yourself? So do we. That's what we do on this channel. Give us a subscribe, maybe a like. Tick that bell to be notified of our new videos every week. This week, we're doing some bedroom stuff. Yes. That sounded weird. <laughs> I have some family coming in town for the holidays that needed a place to stay, so guess what? I offered up our guest room. Guess what? We don't have a guest room. <laughs> we have a room that we put storage and boxes and crap in, but we don't have a guest room. There's no bed, there's no place to sleep. So we went searching for some new furniture for the bedroom because that's what I wanted. Furniture to fill up the bedroom, but it's pretty pricey, especially right and, here at the holidays. And it's cheap. That furniture was cheap looking. Like yes. I was afraid of that I would break that furniture. <laughs> Funny story is we were leaving the furniture place. I saw the word bazaar. He did. <laughs> and I was like, what is a bazaar? <laughs> and he's like, now we have to go in. And sure enough, he parked the car. We went in, but guess what we found? <laughs> This great deal on a whole set of bedroom furniture that is crazy heavy, crazy, crazy heavy. solid nice. wood. <laughs> oh, back in the day when they really made things out of wood. <laughs> so heavy wood. we're going to, what, repurpose our furniture, refinish yeah. it, add a coat of chalk paint. It's looking aged and dated. So we thought we would try to bring some life back into it. In true fashion, we said we could do it. We got it for a steal. Yep. And we watched a YouTube video on how to Chalk paint some furniture. <laughs> Game on! Let's get started. Step one, we gotta remove all the hardware, give it a wipe down and a light sand. And now we paint. We're using some Rust-Oleum aged gray chalk paint, 16 bucks. Another steal, time to paint. Okay, first coat of paint is on and we're just gonna let it dry. It looks great so far. Everything looks dry and gray. And now we're going to scuff it up, make it look worn, distressed, scuffed, kind of wear it in the, where it would be worn. We're using these sponge sanders, kind of just rub it over the edge. Alright, we got the nightstand sanded and we wanted to see what it looked like with the wax first. So here's what the wax looks like. That's the can. I'm just gonna put it on a rag and rub it on. Seals it up. We'll see what it looks like. You're supposed to put it on a plate first so that you don't put your dirty rag in the wax. All right, now we're gonna test out this dark decorative wax with this brush, see how it works. This, uh... It's supposed to bring out the highlights, the shadows. <laughs> Bristle brush. Really just trying to get the cracks and crevices, I think. All right, who wants to try it? Yeah, go ahead.
All right, what do you guys think? The distressed one with the wax and the dark wax? <laughs> or the fresh, clean chalk paint? I don't know. This one just looks dirty to me. I don't know if I want a whole dirty room. Waxing's done, we're gonna let it dry, then we'll give it a buff. Bring out the shine. All right, hardware is on. Looking good, I like the new color of the hardware really pops with that gray another good job babe good job <laughs>